What's the one meal you think everyone should be able to cook? What is that? The one meal you think everyone should be able to cook? Well, first, uh, uh, everyone, and then I, I still don't make my head around it, that Britain, 90% of British people don't cook. 90% of British people don't cook. Students, I suppose, 100%. <laughs> now, who's, who's cooking here? Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. But what are you cooking, really? What is it? You take uh, something from the deep freeze. No. Uh, a nice Findus product is full of sea, of sea horse inside. Hmm? Yesterday we made a Jerusalem artichoke and goat's cheese tart. Well, oh, that's lovely. That is really... Sorry, that was patronizing. <laughs> okay, from my part. And so I apologize. Uh, so, uh, the question... Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, um, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> what you think everyone should be able to cook? Yeah. Well, no. Oh, learn all the techniques. First, learn how to pan fry something. If you know how to pan fry a steak, making a simple jus, I can give you a recipe now. Okay? Or oh, not a steak, not any steak, buy a bavet from the skirt. It will cost you about 65 pence okay, a piece. It's the most toughest piece on earth, because of course the horse, we all know, is a working animal, <laughs> okay, and that's the flank, is a horse. So, and then, but if you cut it properly, and your butcher will, it will cut it perfectly, and create a fantastic texture and flavor. So, and you learn, and you pan fry it, you need 10 grams of butter, or it could be a steak, it could be a piece of lamb, it could be a piece of veal, pork, 10 grams of butter per portion, you let it form. When it forms, it has reached about 153 degrees. It's when the forming is hugely important because that defines the heat. And uh, you see it actually because the butter forms and then it gets slightly brown. Two minutes, one minute beyond, it's burned. And you die, okay, because, <laughs> you know, it's of black butter, heavy, undigestible. So let it form beautifully, gets brown. It's when the solid particles of the milk are the way of the milk, the protein of the milk, which are browning. And you know, you can put your steak or your whatever, or fish or meat or whatever, and pan fry it for two minutes on one side. Two minutes, if it's rare, I love my meat, rare. Two minutes on one side. And then deglaze just with a bit of water. So water does a number of things. It removes the solid particles of which have solidified at the very base of your pan, okay, are being liquef liquefied, emulsified with the water. And of course, fat and water don't mix normally, but with the heat, it does. And you create the most succulent jus you could possibly think of, and that is a three-star Michelin meal. So when you know how to pan fry something, as simple as a steak, you can pan fry anything. You've got here thousands of quick, fast dishes, okay, into your drawer. So then learn other techniques, steam, poach, and they're as simple as that. They're really so simple. I still at last to understand why the British are not cooking. They must be bloody lazy. Because <laughs> oh, that's the only way, of course, because cooking still requires an effort. Let's not mistake it. It doesn't happen like that. If you take a ready meal, Microwave, bang, that's done, ready. Cooking requires an effort. And that's probably the reason, no, there are other reasons. They are patronizing. Because we live in a world which is tough, hard. We don't have time. We don't see our friends, our loved ones. We have to achieve more, etc. So, so I understand that is an effort, but I think it's worth it. Please try it, because it's so rewarding for the friend you're going to give it to, for your own self. And you reconnect with everything, that simple craft, you know, which becomes you know, very joyful when you start controlling a bit the heat, the flame, and, and then it's fun and it's convivial, and then you can share with your friends and you work. Imagine the consequences of all your own cooking. You know, you help a supplier to live around here. You reconnect with food at a deeper level, with nutrition, you know, with science, with, uh, with everything. So please. Try to cook, but I can see a lot of you are adept, so it's fantastic. Very impressed. <laughs>